Matty, dust settles on, on Tuesday night. Uh, what have you made of that performance looking back? Um, yeah, I think we come out of it positive. I think the, the late goal, it, whatever you say, it had an effect. You know, like, look, we went ahead. Great goal from Ruel. And in an ideal world, we keep we keep it to that and we win the game. That It, it felt good at the time, but obviously the reality is we haven't been used to doing it. So um, there's things between when we score and obviously the end of the game that we need to work on. We've worked on that today. We've looked at it today. We've analysed it. So, um, yeah, things to work on, but a small step forward. And I think, I think the spirit and the togetherness right till the very end was something I was so pleased about. That's something I've spoke about a lot. So um, I think they showed that and I think people appreciated that. In terms of your messaging to the players ahead of the weekend, what's been your focus? The focus pretty much has been just learn from the little bits that we can take out of Tuesday. Um, we'll obviously work a little bit on Stevenage tomorrow and, and analyse them today. Um, so at the moment, it's just been about seeing who's 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 available, um, tending to the walking wounded a little bit, and then we'll crack on with that. But obviously, it's another game. It's a game we want to win. Um, it's a game I think they're the closest team to us in terms of uh, location, so it should be a good away following. And I would, uh, I'd ask obviously our fans to come in good voice, um, support the boys. And it's just, I think it's, it's one that we need to attack, be on the front foot. Um, in terms of uh, updates to the squad, obviously, you know, Fio Archibald served to suspension and, and Frank Newblaze back for you as well. Yeah, so we've got uh, a few bodies back, but we've obviously got to see who's available from, from the weekend. The pitch was really heavy. I mean, the game nearly got called off, which was a little bit of a surprise beforehand. Um, but I'm really glad it played. Um, the pitch was heavy, so we just got to see how everyone is. We've got a little bit more time to get everything in order. But um, but yeah, hopefully um, hopefully we'll have a few numbers back. Mm. And in terms of Paul Smith as well, we know he made an impact off the bench. Is he looking like he could maybe make a start? Uh, I think we need to be careful with, with Smithy, I think. Um, as I said the other night, you know, he's he's had a really unlucky season. It's through no fault of his own. You just have injuries. Uh, I think everyone's had every footballer's had seasons which go a bit like that. So we've got to, um we've got to be careful with him, but what a boost it is to have him back, you know. He's got some stardust in him, so I'm really excited by him being back. Another one as well, Otis Calm, we saw him come off and no picked up a bit of a knock. What's the latest there? Uh we're just assessing him really. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um We've got some numbers back, so we've got we can we can look at that and what we do with it. But I'm hopefully be fit, so it's just uh, it's just about tending to all them and uh, and trying to get them on the pitch. Just one point separating Orient and Stevenage in, in the table at the moment. For you and the players, how, how big is this game? Um, what I'd say is, I suppose if a game's bigger or not, it, does it change the way you prepare? Does it change the way you you kind of go into the game? I think you focus you prepare as well as you possibly can no matter what the game is so that's been my message just do as well as you can every day leading up to it and on the day be as good as you can be I don't think we have to get so wrapped up in the whole agenda above it um, so it's just about being as good as you can be if you do that I, I back our players and you've spoken about the connection between the fans and the players so far I think we saw a bit of that on Tuesday night with um, all the celebrations in the end and, and the fans literally and the players all, all together so for you as well that, that's something that's certainly in the right direction yeah definitely I think that's just vital you know um, look it's um, it's been a frustrating season no one can no one can kind of argue with that but you know I think we just made a little small step in, in um, building that relationship and it was just good to good to for that feeling I think I think there was a bit of a feeling at the end where we didn't win it weren't perfect but it just showed our fight right to the end and I think that's what fans want to see I think that's what they appreciated they want uh, they saw a team that would fight was fighting for everything throughout the whole game you know, there's bits in it we need to work on. We understand that, but they, they definitely saw fire.